Hey folks, good morning. This is AJ. My sleep schedule is completely jacked up right now. It is 4.50 a.m. And since I'm up, um, I'm heading back over to Signs and Wonders just to knock out a few things. I went back there last night, which is the video that you're probably seeing right now um, of day eight. And I plan on... I got the other cable that needs to go into the classroom. I'm going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> put that in the ceiling, finish that off so there's no reason to go back in the ceiling except for the entrance TV, which I'm not going to do today. I'm also going to head over and try and hang the speaker on the right side of the sanctuary or at least find a stud and then try and measure off from there um, for the opposite side. Don't plan on being there, there very long. I am taking a bunch of the stuff that came in today for, I mean came in yesterday for First Union, which after the live stream today, I'm taking that over there um, as well as the 65 inch screen TV that I replaced at Signs and Wonders that I never opened. Um, I already got that one. So I'm gonna drop that off. And I believe next week they're gonna make another payment which is going to allow me to order their personal mixers for their X32 that they already had for their musicians. Um, the networking stuff. The Unify UDM Pro, the 24 port PoE switch, and the access points. And then the other 65 inch screen TV. And then we can start doing some work. I may be able, if everything comes in, um, it's probably not going to be until, I don't know, maybe Thursday. I'll be able to start working on that. But let me load this stuff up in the car, head over there turn the heat on and then um, get this stuff done so I can get back over here so we can get ready for this live stream. Maybe take a nap again if I get tired. Alright folks, it is 6.49 a.m. and I am done. We got speaker hung, mount hung on this side and we have spe um, the speaker mount hung. So when it comes in Monday, all we got to do is get up a ladder, lift it up, hang it on there, and that's it. The plan, most likely, is to run an extension cord back down this way and maybe one up and over. Um, or this one, I might get some extra conduit and wrap it and come back over here. Um, based off of what I have at my church, I was talking to um, Pastor Taylor, we probably are gonna use some smart switches so that when this system is turned on, the HDMI splitter is turned on because there's no reason for that to be on the entire time as well as the um, SDI to HDMI converter. So. I mean, because there's no reason for that to be on unless the cameras are in here feeding something. Because if they're not, I mean, it's just pointless. Uh, so, I probably will just do a, um, a TP-Link switch back here, um, mounted on the wall. Hopefully, they don't put drywall, or if they do, I just get in there fast enough to be able to do that. Um, if they put an outlet there, I would just have to tap off of that and just give it power. Or we did a video where we showed how we can just send power to it directly and not need any wiring and just plug it into an outlet. I might do it that way and then I don't have to worry about electrical at all. Or, you know, if we're able to get in there, we'll just wire it. You know, it's, it's not, you know, nothing serious. You don't need to be an electrician just to change out a light switch as long as you know what you're doing. Um, plus, this light switch isn't going to any lights. All it's going to be tied to is the Wi-Fi so that it can turn on the switch. Um, and I might do it the same way. Just have that. I already have a plug, so I only need to use a smart plug. I can put that on the end of the surge protector that's going towards the, a the ATEM and all that other stuff. So when they hit that switch, it turns everything on just like 
at my church. But um, I'm going to see if I can get home here and take another nap. I did run the wires and everything. The I think I found my path coming out of the kitchen. Um, I need to get a couple more pieces of conduit to do that. But what I think when I was upstairs and looked back over, I found kind of the, the L in the top. So this is what I'm thinking. I found this, this cut right here. Looks like I found that upstairs. So, and it's nothing but insulation. So if I punch through up here and I could always put a blank plate. It's not like anybody's gonna stare here and look straight up. Um, if I can get this far over, I could just come over, wrap it down, come up around and come down that way to get the wiring there. So I'm not gonna do it today or well, this morning. I'm kind of tired. But that is gonna be the plan. Then the only thing we have to concern ourselves with is getting measuring enough PVC pipe to come outside, wrap around the building, and then come up through this wall or on the roof coming through here and seal it up nice and tight so no water gets in. And then all of the wiring feeding in, internet, everything like that is done. So um, short video because I was here. I um, just wanted to show you what I was doing, was here and, and it was night, but you see the sun is starting to come up. So that means it's time for me to go. Um, just like before folks, link is down below. Let me get out of here. Link is down below to everything that we're using here. Um, just, just really thankful for um, this opportunity to be able to do this. I've been working with um, Signs and Wonders and Pastor Taylor and them for at least around eight years. So um, they were actually, to be honest, I was looking at it, they were the third client that I ever had, um, my company ever had. My church was the first, um, Gates of Faith was the second, and Signs and Wonders was the third. So I really, really, really appreciate this and I'm really excited to see, you know, all this come together and they be able to um, help this community as well as their um, congregation. Really excited about what we'll be able to do here. So anyway, folks, um, like I said, link is down below. Um, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos where we show you and take you behind the scenes on how we're modernizing media ministries. And yeah, folks. Just thankful. So y'all have a good one. And we will see y'all on the Q&A if you join me on that video today. So later, folks.